Come here, Bridget. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is all about abdominal separation and core exercises that you can use to rehabilitate that core as a mother, right? A new mommy um as a mommy in general right a lot of Hi. us battle with come here bye, -bye. come here brother. a lot of us battle with the mom pooch right we have diastasis recti aka abdominal separation which comes from just carrying and as your stomach and your uterus expands it causes your abs to move apart and then that opening just allows for fat to kind of collect which can cause that like droopy pouch um that we just don't like <laughs> so in order for you to slowly but surely rid that and tighten those abs again you have to get into core rehabilitation and pelvic floor restoration um which i'll talk about more in following videos but today i'm going to give you some at-home exercises you can do no equipment needed um no fancy gym because i know as moms a lot of times we struggle to not only just find the time for the gym and workouts but also finding childcare. right if you're a mommy and you have your babies or your kids you know during the day or the weekend what have you it can be a whole nother hurdle to overcome when it when it comes to just somebody watching the kids during your time to pour into yourself so these workouts, <laughs> boy, just stop. <laughs> these workouts you could do at the comfort of your home, in your living room, in your basement, in your bedroom, whatever the case may be. Um, so there's literally no excuse, mommy. So I'm gonna give you about five or six exercises you can do, um, and long as you start to do them on a regular basis, you should start to see um, improvement. I'll also give you a tip on how to actually feel the abdominal separation because you can actually feel the gap. It's a way to do it, and yeah, I'll get into that a little bit more as well. But if you're interested in really starting to tighten up that core, get rid of that that fupa, and and just feel sexy and confident again, then follow me. First things first, in order to diagnose yourself with diastasis recti, first thing you'll want to do is right above your belly button area, right in the center, you want to take your hand and put fingers to skin in that little area. And from there, you'll want to lay on your back, making sure you're right there and do a crunching motion as if you're going to do a crunch. And you should feel a gap right in that space if you have abdominal separation. Starting with good old fashioned toe taps, you want to make sure your core is tight, make sure your legs are at like a 90 degree angle and just lightly tap the floor as you go down and come back up. Very, very simple motion. Next, we're going into pillow squeezes. Just find a pillow that you have lying around the house, put them between your knees and just squeeze slightly again. Keep your core tight um, and make sure you're relaxing when you open. Next is reverse planks. You'll want to do these for about 15 second intervals. Keep your core tight again. Next up is leg extension. Similar to our first exercise, core tight, legs at a 90 degree angle. And this time you're actually stretching your legs out as they go down and bringing them back up. Here is one of my absolute faves, dumbbell marches. You can also do these kettlebells as well. Consistent goes, keep your core tight and take your time. I hope that helps, guys. These are exercises you'll want to do at least two to three sets of at a time regularly. So I would say do at least three sets of 10 consistently um, several times a week. You can do it before bed. You can do it when you first wake up. You can do it midday, whatever the case may be. But the more consistent you are, the faster you're going to see results and the more improvements you're going to see. In conjunction with a clean diet, right, if you get rid of those extra calories in the form of alcohol, uh, fast food, um, junk food, um, processed foods, like, you'll really see a major difference in your waistline in general um, and tightening up, tightening up that midsection. But nonetheless, until next time, guys, I appreciate you tuning in because you could have been anywhere virtually, but you decided to be here for that. We appreciate you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.